Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Sully Pones and welcome back to Let's Play Mario Kart 8 for the Nintendo Wii U. Today, I'm going to be playing through all 12 cups of this game on the brand new 200ccs mode. That's right, folks. Nintendo actually released the two newest DLC cups of this game today, as well as the brand new 200ccs mode. And it's funny too, because way back before this game even came out, I actually predicted Nintendo releasing a 200ccs mode for this game. Like, new game on a new console, new game mode. Except that wasn't the case. They didn't release it with the game. I was like, Way off with the timing. I assumed they were going to release it with the game, but they released it like almost a year after the initial release date, which is completely fine because since then we've actually gotten four brand new DLC cups and six new playable characters. So I guess it's always an excuse to come back and play this game every so often. And I will be giving away one free copy of Mario Kart 8 at the end of this Let's Play, uh, which will be up on Sunday. The last video will go up on Sunday, hopefully, if things go according to plan. So if you want a chance to qualify and win a free copy of Mario Kart 8, all you need to do is leave a like and comment on this video and be a subscriber of mine. And on Sunday, I will pick one lucky subscriber and they will win a free copy of Mario Kart 8. If you already have one and you win, you can just give it away a friend you could be that good generous uh, man and or woman and, and give it to your friend who doesn't have this game because it's a very fun game and I would recommend it to anybody looking to get a good fun Wii U game so as you can see here it is 200 cc's mode uh, I actually this this game isn't mine uh, because uh, my CD had all of the games be in for some reason this one doesn't I think I might have mixed mine up with like Moe's or Luke's or something like that But that's okay because if I make 200 cc's mode every single cup in this game will actually have a three-star ranking So as you all could see the three newest DLC characters that came out today with this DLC pack are the villager Where you could play with the female or male villager depending on if you're a male or a female or maybe you're a guy and You just like to play with girls I mean, I don't know. You can play with whoever you want. You can play with Isabel. I'm not going to be playing as Isabel just because... I mean, I will eventually, but not in this episode. And uh, and then you can play as Dry Bowser. Dry Bowser is the character that I'm looking forward to most to playing with. But for now, we're going to be playing with Villager. In the next episode, we're going to be playing with Isabel and then Dry Bowser. So we're going to play with Villager. And I got to say, this 200ccs mode is going to change the entire metagame of this game in terms of online gameplay. Because as opposed to uh, you know winning uh, by luck, you're actually going to have to be able to play this game and know how to play this game on 200 cc's mode in order to win your races because uh with 200 cc's mode like the game is so fast to the point where you need to start doing something known as break drifting which i will show off in this cup and to kind of explain it i practiced it a little bit because i knew uh that i was gonna have to do something else in order to oh that's so cool i played this cup already but i didn't even notice that the animal crossing levels changed like seasons I was wondering why when I played it the second time it was dark. It was like autumn as opposed to summer. And I was like, that's weird. But this is awesome. I'm really excited to play this cup and this cup. These are the first two cups that I'm actually going to be playing on the channel today. And then we'll go back starting from the Mushroom Cup all the way to the Triforce Cup. So without any further delays, let's go ahead and jump into the Crossing Cup where we have Baby Park, Cheeseland, Wildwoods, and Animal Crossing. So I decided to cut out the loading time in this game because I forgot how bad they are. For some reason, they take about 30 seconds to load and it's not really worth keeping it in. But as you can see, this is the first level of the Crossing Cup Baby Park. Look at how gorgeous this theme park is. If only Nintendo created a real life theme park like this, it would be amazing. I would literally spend all my money just to be at this theme park all the time. But yeah, I want you guys to pay really close attention to this first drift that I'm about to take. As you guys can see, I did a regular drift and I ended up crashing into the wall. Um, and what I'm going to teach you guys right now is how to do brake drifts. You need to do brake drifts in order to actually maintain a decent spot when you play on 200ccs. Just because you're going so incredibly fast that when you drift, you end up either sliding off-road or crashing into walls. And that's something that you don't want, especially when you're trying to get a first place ranking uh, in the level that you're playing. So what you do to brake drift is essentially you hold down the B button for just like you, you lightly hold it uh, right before you turn. You don't want to press it because that will immediately just stop you. You just lightly hold it so then it slows you down just a little bit. So that way when you do do the drift, you actually get the boost from the drift, which is faster than like um, just... Uh, driving normally and you don't end up crashing into walls or sliding off-road I've only been playing this game for like less than an hour uh, at least on 200 cc's So my drifting isn't gonna be perfect So for those of you guys that are going to get upset at me for not getting a three-star ranking uh, in this cup then 
don't watch this because I'm not going to be a perfectionist at this. I want to be able to record this at the very beginning and, and come back in the future and look back and see how much ha my gameplay has changed. Um, I feel like I've got the hang of it down, so I'll be able to hopefully be able to get the three-star ranking or at least, you know, get a two-star ranking or even a one-star ranking. I really don't care. As long as it's in the stars, um, I will be very happy considering that 200 cc's is, is something extremely different brought to the table. So, welcome to the second level of the crossing cup cheese land uh, this apparently wasn't the, the GBA version I played the GBA version uh, like maybe I want to say like six months ago when I was doing a video um, on Mario I think it was like a year ago I did a video on Mario Kart playing through all the rainbow roads and I had to uh, to play through all of the cups in the GBA version just to unlock the rainbow road and I gotta say I do not remember this level being in it considering you know it's the GBA version it was probably really terrible looking and this is really modified that when you play it, it feels like you're playing an entirely different course. And that's how it is for most of the retro levels in this game. But that's the one thing that I really like about the new DLC cups in this game. How Nintendo incorporated two retro levels from previous Mario Kart games. And then they created two brand new levels solely for this game. Like the next two levels are by far some of my favorite levels in this game. Like they're just so gorgeous. Everything in this game is just so visually attractive. Uh, that when you look at the new cups, you're just like, wow, this is awesome. Wow, I drifted off the, uh, I got off road there because I didn't hold down the brake. I'm trying to focus on commentating. Makes it very hard to focus on the gameplay as well. All right, let me see. Uh, I just need to catch up here. Put some distance between me and Rosalina. Is that Rosalina? That's baby Rosalina. You could tell because her head's kind of smaller and she doesn't have as much hair. But um, this level is pretty easy. There's a lot of turns to it, so you're going to be brake drifting a lot. Um, it's easy for me because my fingers are kind of like big uh, and I get a like my thumb is pretty much over the A button as well as the B button so I can easily just slide my finger or my thumb down to hit the B button if I really wanted to and that's how I pretty much do the brake drifting. There's probably other methods to go about doing this but this is probably the easiest method at least for me that I figured out I did not want that mushroom. Mushrooms are like pointless when you're playing on 200 CCs because you're just going so incredibly fast that you do not need a mushroom to go faster. That's just kind of an overkill at this point. Uh, but I'm very excited to play this online and the reason for that is because, you know, I said uh, before in previous episodes of Mario Kart that playing online is kind of bad just because the game is so unbalanced in terms of items that when you do play, you don't really get the items you're supposed to get in the position that you are. So if you're in like an 8th place, you'll end- OH MY GOD! Oh my god, I saw that and I was like, holy crap. Oh my god. Dude, I didn't even know you can cancel out blue shells with the hammer horn. What the heck, dude? I had no idea you could do that. I would have lost this. I would have been seriously upset because I was doing well. I kept my first position lead the entire race. And if I would have gotten hit by that blue shell, I would have had to restart this. Like, I'm not even going to lie. I would have raged quit and restarted it. That would have been unacceptable. Items can really, really hurt you. They can either make it or break it for you in this game. Uh, I've been playing this game though uh, recently because I had family over for the past few days and they uh, when, and while they were here all we've done is just play Mario Kart 8 and it was awesome like I, I was playing through this game again especially with no items on and I realized how much I missed this game and how like attractive visually and just everything about this game was just like it's eye candy, you know? You could play this game and be so mesmerized playing it for hours upon hours, and you don't get bored from it either. It's like, it just has such a high replay value, which is the reason why I really like this game. I, I sound like I'm trying to sell you this game, but that's not the case. Honestly, like, this game is hands down one of the best, like, Wii U games out there, and it's one of the games that I really wish I could have played more when it first came out, but because of how messed up or broken the online system was, it just prevented me and turned me off from being able and wanting to play this game. But I feel like with the new 200 cc's mode that it's gonna change that just look at the visuals on this level it reminds me of tarzan somewhat like the movie because we're in like the shy guy jungle and I, i'm assuming this is where shy guys live because you see houses and whatnot and they're swinging on vines like tarzan and you see waterfalls it's it's really lovely oh my god blue shell there's no way i can avoid this one all right baby rosalina is like literally on my butt okay you passed me you, you gotta chill girl i can't allow her to win and it's not gonna happen. She actually, uh, wow. You know, I was literally gonna say she's probably gonna hit the wall because I saw her do that in the first lap. So I'm assuming that's how she's gonna play throughout the rest of this uh, entire cup. She's just gonna crash into the wall. Computers in this game usually have like one, um, I don't wanna say mindset, but they have like a set, like it's, 
they don't do different things every lap. They just do one specific thing, like one movement, and that's it. So, if, like, Rosalina's in second place, she's always going to be in second place throughout the entire races, if not first place. But she's not. you're not going to find her going from second place one race to, like, eighth place the next race. It doesn't work like that. I don't know why. It's just really balanced in the sense of the computers being balanced. I don't know why. I don't even know if I'm explaining this right. But we beat this level, thankfully. And I have 45 points, just one more level, and I will have a three-star ranking as long as I get the first place. If not, then that's okay, because I feel like at this point we've secured a pretty good spot in the final ceremony. Whew. All right, this is it. Animal Crossing, the final cup in the Crossing Cup. This one is gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful level. Um, I love the fact that they added four seasons into this level so you can play this once and you'll have summer and then you can play it again and you'll play it in the fall season. It's really gorgeous. It makes me really want to go back and play Animal Crossing New Leaf. Nintendo, they, that's how they get you, man. They put, like, like when I played the, um, the Triforce Cup and I played that last level in the Triforce Cup, all I did the next day was play Hyrule Warriors because it just made me feel like I wanted to play Hyrule Warriors again. I, wow, wow. I knew that was going to happen. I literally saw her take it out and I'm like... If I pass her, she's going to hit me with it, so the only way I can get rid of it is if I, like, hit it myself. Ah, uh, alright, that's fine. I got a triple mushroom. Again, mushrooms are kind of overkill to have in 200cc's mode. Let me try to get a shortcut here. Nope, I'm just going way too fast. Literally, there's such an overkill in this game. Uh, at least on 200cc's. Alright, I'd better off have, like, a red shell or something. That's what I'd want more. How is she doing so well? Like, what the heck, dude? Like, all of a sudden, she's, like, cutting these corners really close, and she's, you know, hugging the corners and, and roads really tight and getting the perfect drifts. Look at that. I can't even see her right now. She's literally non-visible to me right now. Okay, there she is. How is she doing so freaking well? What the heck, man? All right. Hit that. Ah, oh, come on. That would happen. Oh, God. Don't you dare. Oh, man. That threw me off. That bomb threw me off. Oh, God. Oh my goodness, man. I hit her, but still, she's still ahead of me. All right, okay, okay, they're right there. I can catch up, I can catch up. Oh, and why would I have this? Oh, all right, whatever. Hopefully it works out. Come on, come on. Bite her butt. Bite that diaper off. Oh, that sounded really weird, but bite her. Come on, catch up, you stupid piranha plant. No, no, she won. Oh my God, I was this close of winning this cup and getting a three-star ranking. Ah. <sighs> Oh, well, it was bound to happen. I was bound to lose one of these races. Again, I'm not going to try to force myself to get a three-star ranking because if I did, I will probably never get a three-star ranking. I don't want to like end up setting myself for the disappointment and not end, up, not end up uploading these videos just because I'm trying to get a three-star ranking. That's what I was trying to say. Uh, but yeah, there is no award ceremony in this game, so you're just going to have to see the, the replays, which I don't want to watch. So we're just going to cut right to the cup. And we'll see my ranking. Hopefully, it's a two-star. Let me see what it is. It's, in fact, a two-star ranking. All right. So, that will pretty much conclude this episode of Mario Kart 8. Thank you guys all so much for watching. In the next episode, we will be taking on the second new cup. And then, we'll go back and start from the Mushroom Cup all the way to the Triforce Cup. So, thank you for watching, and I will see you all then. Goodbye.